Hello, KW Prosperity family. Today is day two of the 66-day challenge. This is Matt Bilheimer, your Director of Career Growth and Technology. Today is all about contacts and how to add a contact. So we're going to do, um, you're going to go to the Contacts tab, which is right under your name. You can access it that way by clicking here or right under the Home icon, which is your dashboard icon you can access the contacts by clicking there. So either way, um, you'll click contacts and it's very simple to add a contact. There's two ways you can go about doing it. If you haven't added any of your contacts yet to this point, um, you can import your contacts as a CSV file. So you can click the import button and you can drag or upload your CSV file. Um, however, the one thing you do need to be aware of is that it must be this format. So if you click the button that says download, and then it will download, and I can open this. So it just has to be in this format with these columns. So you just need to make sure that your contacts are in here. Um, the other thing that you can do, you can also feel free to reach out to Scott Leroy. If you already have your contacts in a CSV file, but it's not compatible for whatever reason, email him and he'll be able to make it compatible um, or copy and paste your contacts into the right spreadsheet to add it. Um, so I'm going to cancel out of that, but that's how you would import your contacts as a batch upload all at once. Um, after you do that, if you want to add just a single contact, Next to the import button, you would just click the button that says add contact. You would then add the person's first name and last name. You would then add their email. You would then add <clears throat> their phone number. And then if you want to classify them as a lead or if you want to classify them just as a contact, that's up to you. Um, the advantages to marking them one way or the other is if you want to do a group search for just your leads, they have to be classified as a lead to then be able to search um, for those contacts. Um, if you want to add a tag for them, if you want to add them as an agent, allied resource, in tomorrow's session, I'm going to show you how to create a custom tag. Um, but if you want to label someone as a buyer, seller, or whatever, um, you will just click the uh, tag that you want to set them at and you will then click create. Once you create them, so I'm already in your database, so I'm gonna dismiss this. I'm gonna add my other email, we'll see if that works. And that seems like that one will work. So once you click create, it will then um, come into your contacts. So if I were to search and type in Matt, um, my name has come up with my email addresses. Um, so that is how you add a contact. So that is day two of the 66 day challenge. Tomorrow we will go over how to create custom tags. If you can take a screenshot just to show that you added at least one contact, um, you'll be eligible to be um, in the 66 day challenge for the bold scholarship. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Have a great day.